I'm Jason Stewart, and I'm coming out on this show today. I'm not really gay. I'm a sergeant in the military. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Stewart targets the homosexual community in his act. And, uh, Jason, I understand that there's something that you've wanted to say for a very long time. Are you going to do it right here on my show? I'm coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is it, guys. I'm coming out. I've been, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gay. Okay, deal with it. Uh, no, I am. I, uh, oh, God, now we're here. It's TV. Stop this. No, no, I am. I've, I decided that I'm going to come out in my act. I've been a comedian for uh, uh, around nine years. What are you, my mother? I can't lip read. <laughs> oh, she can't read my lips. That's right. <laughs> And I decided I was going to do this on your show when they called. Um, I've been working on my act and coming out and experimenting for the last year or so. I'm also an actor, so that's my big fear, is that I won't be able to be able to play different parts. People will judge me and only want me to play one thing. And, I mean, I wouldn't mind playing gay people if there were great gay parts. What am I going to do, wait for that great hairdresser role? <laughs> he laughs, he cries, he teases your hair. <laughs> How are your parents going to greet this uh, bombshell? Oh, they already know, you know. They've, we've gone through hell and everything back and forth, and my mother is incredibly supportive, and my father is fabulous. And my, both my mother and my father have been very uh, good to me. What about you brother know? and sister? Brother and sister is a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> are they embarrassed? Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know, because it's not my thinking. Uh, my sister's an Orthodox Jew, and my brother has a washer and dryer and lives in the valley. <laughs> and so, um, I just think to myself, there's no place like home, there's no place like home. <laughs> or is that which Dorothy you need, or Judy, <laughs> Liza, Cabaret, I'm stepping out. <laughs> No, I, I don't know, you know? It's so weird. It's funny, because my parents are older people, and they're more accepting. My brother and sister are younger, and they're not. So you never know. You know, it's very strange. I just want to be able to act, play different parts. I w I'd like to be able to win an Academy Award for playing a heterosexual person, like William Hurt won one for playing a homosexual person. Hey, Kiss of the Spider-Man? Uh, I don't want to do that role. I'd rather do Rain Man. <laughs> Rain Man, is there? All right. What's wrong with Rain Man? Uh, it's good. Which, which part, then? Uh, probably the Tom Cruise role. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell you, you guys, there's a lot of tough guys. Geraldo's a tough guy. A lot of tough guys here tonight. You, some of you look like the kind of guys used to beat the crap out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, guys like you would follow me home from school every week because I was so popular. <laughs> Then they slam me in the lockers by accident, you know. They used to write those names on my locker. <laughs> names I started to like. Anyway. Oh, sorry. Guess we're having an uncomfortable moment. <laughs> oh. I know there are tough guys here, you know. There's the kind of guys that used to sit every other seat in the movie theater because I didn't want to be a homo. <laughs> it's that easy. Anyway. <laughs> And I, I come from a dysfunctional family. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> my parents are divorced, you know, and my father bought my stepmother this house in the Hollywood Hills for half a million dollars. My mother got just a little pissed and stabbed her. <laughs> <laughs> my mother is very beautiful, and when I was a kid, my mother would go to the beach. Tell me if this is true for you. She would wear complete makeup, complete jewelry, complete hair, and a cowhide bathing suit. <laughs> we'll deal with it later. And. She'd wear these high heels, so when she'd walk on the beach in her high heels in the 60s, she'd walk like this. <laughs> Lenny, watch my pocketbook. Here I come. <laughs> my sister's, you know, different. I love her. She's an Orthodox Jew now. I'm Jewish, you know. Any Jews here tonight? Uh, half of Geraldo, we know. <laughs> it's just which half? <laughs> No, no, my sister's Orthodox Jewish. Now, you ever go to an Orthodox Jewish wedding? You have the guys on one side, you have the girls on another. <laughs> I didn't know whether it was at a square dance or a gay bar. <laughs> Baruch Ataya, Hanukkah Menorah. <laughs> they have furball problems. <laughs> and it's crazy. My brother always asks me, what role do you play, the man or the woman? I said, what do you mean, what role do I play? I'm Patty Duke in The Miracle Worker. <laughs> I would like to know this young man, what inspired him to come out of the cloud and let the people know what he's all about? Okay, Jason, why, uh, why are you leaping into the open here? First reason is for myself, so as I, so as I can have self-respect be who I am, be able to have the same rights as everybody here in this room. That's the first reason. Second reason is because I think there's a lot of kids out there. When I was growing up, there was nobody on television. There was no, there was no Geraldo show. There was no Joan, Oprah, Phil, all those shows. You didn't have gay people on TV. I didn't know who I was. I didn't, I, I just, what all I knew were the bad things, the things that people would say were negative. And, you know, maybe there's one kid out there right now that's not going to kill himself. Maybe there's one kid that's not going to feel depressed forever. Maybe there's one kid that won't feel like he's alone. And it's my way of doing service as a person. Will it affect your humor? 
Um, it already has in the last year, yeah. Writing and being yourself is so much easier. Do you know, can you tell us a gay joke? Right, you'll see the set. Don't push okay. me, Geraldo. <laughs> hi, hi. He's righty. And it's been a rough year now. Bush is out, which I'm glad. I'm not a Bush person. I'm not into Bush, and I have no need for Bush. And... <laughs> Now, Clinton's in the White House. We have Southerners in the White House, you know, and that's very different, you know. I mean, he comes from Alabama or Arkansas or Alaska or some A place. <laughs> and it, it's different having Southerners in the White House. I hear now you ring the doorbell, you hear the theme song of the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> and then, of course, Hillary, they're all afraid of her, a woman who has an opinion, who's strong, you know. They're afraid she's a lesbian. I'm just hoping. <laughs> And then there's Al Gore, handsome man, and his wife, Tipper, who's been by that gravy boat once too often. <laughs> what kind of a name is that for a woman? Tipper, come here, girl. Heel, heel, heel. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't know. I, I think if there were gay people in the White House, it wouldn't even be called the White House. It would be called the Chartreuse House. <laughs> and there would be track lighting everywhere. <laughs> Oh. I, I don't know. And you know that uh, Clinton and Gore were on the cover of GQ a couple months ago. Did you know that? And this month they're in the Calvin Klein ad, naked, on a swing. <laughs> okay. I'd like to say to you that what you do with your life is your business. I'm not here to judge you. Thanks. But when you're hugging and kissing and there are children around, I'm against that. I think you should... You mean when gay people are hugging and kissing? Right. And they're, and they're in front of children and children are wondering what are those two are doing. I don't think they should act like that when there's children a, around. Are you saying in a sexual way or in an or in a, in a emotional way? and kissing. Yeah, in a sexual way. In a sexual children, will, children are you, observing, and they will say, how come they're kissing? And it's the way some of them do carry on hugging and kissing, uh -huh. and, and it's the way they do it. Let me ask you I'm a question then. You haven't dated anybody in months, have you? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can we bleep that out? Um, are you married? Yes, I am. And you have a husband? I have a husband, three And do you children, kiss him in front of your children? Yes, five Do you kiss him on the street if you would see him? Pardon me? Do, if you would see him on the street and he was coming in the house and people were walking by, would you kiss him in front of other people, if your husband? If it was one of my children? In front of any... Do you kiss your husband in front of anybody? Oh, yes, I would. Why don't I have the same rights as you? Yes, I agree with that. But the question I'm saying... Wait a minute. I agree with you, but wait, wait, I'm, I'm talk. not talking about grown-ups. I'm talking about children. So people children shouldn't children. see other people? Small children I'm talking about. So what, what do you think small will happen children. to small children if they see well, they two wonder. gay people children kissing? Children wonder a lot. They observe. You'd be surprised because I take care of a lot of children. And they, they are very smart. And they observe a lot. Well, what will they see? What will happen to them? Quick, uh, Linda, some final thoughts. Well, I think humor really is the best therapy. We get a chance to, to really get some aerobic exercise also. A hundred laughs, I think, is equal to rowing a boat somehow or other. Really? Okay. Then I should have been thin a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you have to laugh.